All right, Shalom, brothers. All praises goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. The bonus goes into the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, from whom we learn the truth and much love and peace and blessings goes out to all you hopeful elect brothers that are teaching the word of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. <coughs> so, <coughs> Salaki. So, this is going to be a lesson. Basic. Th this will be about how Yahweh Shai is going to rule the heathen. With righteous judgment, he's going to execute punish punishments upon them. And through the punishments executed in a righteous manner, in a righteous fashion, that's going to bring justice. That's going to bring uh, equity on the earth. OK, and that can only be done as issued by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because the heathen were not given uh, the law, statutes and commandments or the laws to rule the earth. The heathen rule the earth as we see now most prevalent in the so-called white man that he uh rules the earth in complete wickedness right because you actually get punished for things that are righteous in the society and you get rewarded for things that are wicked and that set up that type of rulership has brought nothing but death and low morale and broken homes, okay? Animal die-offs, imbalance of nature, you see? But due to there being righteous judgment, starting from the head, starting from our king, Yahweh Shai, right? There's going to be life on earth. But <laughs> in essence of that, there must be that punishment upon those that do wickedness and there's going to, you better believe there's going to be hell of punishment. So let's go to Hebrews 1 and 8. But unto the son, he saith, thy throne, O power, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. So pretty much the focus of this uh, precept I want to get is the fact of the scepter. Because the scepter represents Yahweh Shah's rulership. Actually, how... In essence, he's going to um, rule the earth because the a scepter is a is a is a basically a weapon. It's a a weapon and a symbol of of judgment that is found in the hand of of kings, right? Usually during the, a king's coronation in the ancient world, they will be crowned, but they would also get a scepter as well. So if you look up that word for scepter, it's rabdos, and it means a staff, a walking stick, a twig, right? Because they say that that concept of the kings using rods and staffs developed from actual shepherds because shepherds are rulers over their flock. They're rulers of the sheep, and what they use to guide the sheep is their staff. It says, so if you skip down, it says, when applied to kings... With a rod of iron indicates the severest, most rigorous rule. Okay, so severe and rigor. Right? And what, what why will why will why will Yahweh Shai's rule be severe and rigor? And who's it gonna be severe and rigor, rigorous towards? The heathen. Because the heathen for millennia have oppressed and killed and stolen from the Lord's chosen people. And the heathen have within them wickedness and iniquity they don't understand anything about the most high so that's why Yahweh Shai during his first a thousand years of reign the heart the heathen are going to be in hardcore slavery they're going to be building up our kingdom because due to the you know their drastic behavior they done destroyed the earth now now Yahweh Shai gonna come gotta come back and lay this society flat and he's gonna make the heathen build it up build it back up and for every time they get out of line, they're going to feel that rod. And that's a rod of righteousness. Why is it righteous? Because he's judging them. He's doing it to them based upon their own wicked deeds. So that's righteous. So uh, let's go to a few other precepts that line up with that. This is Psalm 110. In verse five, it says, the Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. And this is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the Lord at the Most High's right hand. The reason being 
is because Yahweh, after he died, he went and sat on uh, the right hand of the Heavenly Father. You know? Matter of fact, let's just go to it. Hold on, Salakia. Hebrews 10 and 12 says, but this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of the most high. Yahweh Shai again. So the Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. All right. He's going to the Yahweh Shai, one of the first acts of his rulership is going to be to kill Many people, right? Because the kings of this earth, as they, as they said currently, are wicked devils, man. Look at what they're doing with this whole Maxine, that chip and all that shit, man. They totally, they totally destroying the people of the earth. You know what I mean? So that's why Yahweh Shai, he's going to kill a lot of people, you know? So let's go to uh, Proverbs 20 and 30. The blueness of a wound cleanseth away evil. So do stripes the inward part of the belly. You see? And that represents through punishments that, that evil being cleansed. And that's why our people got jacked up so severe and, um, you know, numerous on numerous occasions because that was meant to actually chase away our iniquity, chase away our evil mind. And it is it has done that. Look at the look at the brothers and sisters all across the earth that are realizing through the many curses and you know the, the, just the, the 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 awful situation of our people. Through that, they actually learn how to repent, how to how to humble themselves and come back to the Most High. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to do that with the heathen too, but they're going to go into slavery, and they're going to be jacked up for a thousand years. You know what I'm saying? And that it mentions the blueness of a wound. Because what, what happens when your wound is blue? It's a bruise. It's bruisings. The heathen going to get a mighty bruising, man. Literally. This is not parabolic. Isaiah 2 and 3, it says, And many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us his ways. And we will walk in his paths and for our... Of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. It says, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares, meaning turning from weaponry into civil work. And their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war anymore. You see? So this is what Yahweh Shah is going to do. He's going to sit in judgment with the people. And it all starts with that scepter in his hand, putting punishments on their ass, man. So all praise goes to Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, Shalom.